Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video on if you wanted to do the anodized aluminum business cards, how to make the jig, and I'm going to show the jig I make and show the speeds and stuff that I use to get the outcome. So first of all, just select the square up the top here and drag out a square. I know my cards are 3.3 inches wide and 2 point one inches tall so that's that if you want to make it look if you want to make it look a little bit nicer you just round the corners by using this radius tool and just setting your correct radius I mean it's only got to be roughly you're probably not going to go that close to the corner but anyway um, it just looks a bit neater and then go to the circle tool hold shift and drag out a circle roughly like that and then go back to the select tool select the circle and the card and then just make sure that it's centered vertically and then this down here will take everything out of the center which will leave you with this now so you've got a little place to put your finger in to grab it and then once you've got that just go to your array tool and just choose how many you know how many you want I'm only going to do six for now I'm going to do two that way and three going down if they're in the wrong direction just make sure reverse directions clicked so they go the right way uh, if you want the spacing a little bit more you just change it by clicking these uh, I'm just gonna oh not that one yeah the X and Y spacing so yeah I'm gonna leave it at that and if I'm gonna cut the whole thing I'm gonna just put a square around it just in case I cut a whole thing if you want to make sure they're centered if you go over all these first you've got to group them first otherwise they'll all just I'll just show you if you don't group them and then you try and center it it's gonna mess up like that so first of all you want to group these and then click the outside and now say center and you've got that centered and yeah that's that's about that and then I'll take that outside I and mean, if you wanted you could lift this up and just write business card jig or you know your sizes maybe up here but yeah that's what I'm going to cut out and I'll show you I'm not sure yet I might do it out of cardboard or I've got some foam board I might do it out of both and I'll see what kind of works out best so yeah I'll be out on the laser and cut this out just so you know which uh, business cards these are the ones I got a little bit expensive really but they was just on eBay $27 for a hundred so but yeah that's the ones just anodized aluminum blanks okay I'm outside now one thing I was gonna do on this that I forgot to do earlier was just duplicate control and D to duplicate and then move this over I'm gonna cut this as a back board as well so I can glue this top to the bottom it should keep it all a bit better together so yeah just wanted to show that and now I'll going to cut that out okay so to cut this cardboard I'm going to send it at 25 speed 40 power hopefully be enough this one up I am just going to also cut this out of this white ball it's in Home Depot it's called thrifty board I mean it's it's nice stuff it's only about well last time I went in there it was about $15 for a four foot by eight foot sheet it's about a one eighth inch thick and it's it's kind of like coated MDF really but it works out nice 
for a few things. So I'm going to cut it out of that just so I've got a comparison with something else. I mean, looks like if you was in a, you know, if you didn't have the extra stuff, to me it looks like the car would be fine. But I'm going to glue this and cut that. Yep, you can see there, that's how they came out, so. I mean, these just fit in here now. I'm just going to show how I would line it back up on my laser, because now these are moved. Okay, so I sent over to the laser. I'm going to say file. And I'm going to take this cardboard one out for a minute. And say three. <laughs> Okay, once it's framed, line that top corner up and frame it again. Right, see it's just got to come over this way a bit at the bottom. Okay. The other day, I gave out a file for these. That's what I used to clamp it down. There's two options. You can either put a square in there and then you know that it's always lined up with that square and clamp the square down once it's in the place. That's the yeah, and you can see that's pretty much exactly where it needs to be. So, I'm just going to put one of these in. Hold that. Put one in here. Oh, this is a big. Put one in there. Put one in there. These are all lower than the laser as well, so... Okay, well as long as this stays into that corner, I'm going to put one there. I don't want to get one too much in the way of this. I mean, you could clamp this down, but you've got to be careful not to crash the head because it's got to be focus, focused from the um, cut where the card is. So really, you could do with another small piece of that material. Focus it to that piece. Yeah, that's good there. Let me frame that. Okay. And now, just to make sure that's all aligned, I'm going to send a design on the top one uh, and on that bottom one and just make sure it all lands in the right place. Okay, we've selected graphics selected on the computer there. I just wrote, put my two designs on these two cards and I've sent them. I sent them at a 600 speed and a 10 power just to see what happens. I can always add power if I need a little bit more, but it's hard to take it away. So I'm going to just frame that and make sure it looks like it's going to be in the right place. <coughs> Yeah, my designs don't come all the way to the top or bottom, that's why it's showing it is where it is. So, I'm going to send that one. Yeah, you can see there, centred them both up nice. And The other thing as well, if you do it like this and put the ruler down, if you add another jig, so that you wanted to cut, you know, etch some bottle openers, you can just take this one out and then you can just put this one in, make sure it fits in that corner and make sure on light burn that the two corners line up and then you, you could just swap straight over and fit your next piece. 
or you could load the next one up ready so you can just take that one straight out put this one straight in and while you're messing with that one this one can already be cutting and just save a bit of time I have a little bit of wiggle room in there for my cards I mean I've got to just try and make sure they're a little bit centered but it's not by a lot I mean you're not going to be far off as long as you're not going right to the edge of the card Yeah. Actually, they're better in here. But yeah. And that was 600 speed and a 10 power. I mean, that looked like I'd done a pretty good job, really. Let's see. Could probably go a little bit more. I'll see a little bit on there. Maybe turn the dots per inch up to make sure it gets rid of all that. wanted to show how to do that because that can make things quite easy if you have everything prepared it'll make it pretty easy if you you know can get everything prepared like I say cut these six or twelve or however many you make throw your second one in there and cut them and you can be empty in this one and refilling it back up with the next lot ready to go yeah, all I done was just glued that the top to the bottom. Them two out. Yeah. I'll like say this is from Home Depot Thrifty Bold, they call it, I believe. So it's not normally with the other wood. It's not normally over by the um, birch plywood and stuff like that it's up the back with the kind of cabinet making stuff normally and sometimes it's slid underneath a shelf so it can be hard to spot so if not just ask in Home Depot for white thrifty board and yep that's nice stuff it's even nice for etching and everything so yeah that's a simple way to make the jig and hopefully it helps someone out and please like and subscribe and I'll be making more videos as soon as I can.